Don't die on me now, old man. Jules, it's Landon. Stay back. For the last time, where is the tabula? You'll never find it. It's here in this chapel, isn't it? Just tell him, Papa. I will tell you nothing. Look at your daughter, Senor. My man would be happy to hurt her. I cannot let you raise Lucifer. You will bring chaos to the world. George, we have to do something. With luck, Langham wouldn't notice that the gun was useless. Hold it there, Langham. Well, if it isn't my least favorite American. Where is the tabula? Even if I did have it, why would I give it to you? Because you don't have a choice. For God's sake, shoot him, George. Yes, go on. Shoot me, why don't you? Don't push me. That gun would never fire. Give me the gun before you hurt yourself. I didn't rate my chances with just a rusty old pistol. Now, do you have the tabula? I don't have it. We couldn't find it. You're lying. I promise you I will kill the old man. I ask again, do you have the tabula? If I give you the tabula, then you promise you'll let us all go free? I give you my word. No, George, no. So, the tabula veritatis. Actually, I will need to take the girl with me. The old man would just slow us down. No, I'm staying here. My father needs medical help. If he doesn't get it, he will die. Oh, really? <laughs> no! Problem solved. Langham, you're rot in hell for what you've done. Hell? Quite the opposite, believe me. The world will be a better place, George. Once Jehovah has been destroyed. What? Lucifer will set us free. You can't destroy Jehovah. I can. And I will. Bring the girl. But you agreed to let us all go free. She may be of use yet. One of my men will be outside. If they try to follow me, shoot them. It would be my pleasure, boss. Eva. You must get the Tavula back. We don't even know where he's going. All we know is that it's somewhere in the Middle East. Nothing else? There was a note, something about... Our destiny lies in paradise? And we found a map. It shows the source of four rivers. But that's all we have. Can it be? You know what that means? In Genesis, there is a river. It flows from paradise and divides into four. Where is this place? This paradise? Eden is going to Eden. The Garden of Eden? But that's just a Bible story, a myth. No, it's a real place. It's where Jehovah created life, where Lucifer gave Eve knowledge, where the gods are held in balance. And now Langham has the tabula to lead him right to it. Only you can stop him. You must defeat him. But how? Eva, she will know. He'd gone, but I knew he was right. We had to stop Langham and rescue Eva. There was a door at the bottom of the steps, but I would never have managed to reach it.
The drain pipe entered a small, flat drain cover. Hey, Nico, I've got a plan. Over. Roger, George. What are you thinking? Over. I'm going to place the radio out here. Maybe it'll be enough to distract the guard. Give me a second to set this up, then start talking. Got it. I carefully positioned the radio in the drain. Quick shot! I found a way out! I'm warning you, I will shoot! If I wanted to be sure to hit him, I needed to wait till the guard was closer. The hammer hit the guard on the head with enough force to knock him out. Marquez was dead. What did you do to the guy? Uh, those steps must have been slippery. He took a little tumble. Nico, look! There's a cable car ready to go. Quick, before Langham locks down the system. You don't think perhaps we should have waited for the next one? Well, we caught it, didn't we? What's all the fuss? Now, if I can just open this window, I think we'll be fine. Okay, maybe not. Now, don't panic just yet. I, I'll think of something. the handle. Hang on in there. I'm hanging on, Georges. Damn it. It's a little stuck. Just give me a second. Just hurry up! Nico! So... We meet again. I've come for my painting. What painting? La Maledicción. Gesundheit. Don't play games with me. We both know the painting conceals a treasure, Mr. Stobart. You know, even if the painting was yours, I wouldn't give it to you. You're just a common gangster. <laughs> a fine sentiment. But I won't let you cross me again. Again? You stole my ruble. My platinum 12 ruble. Well, that was just an old coin. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of old coin. Wow. Well, a guy could do a lot of redecorating with that. Ah, uh, enough of your American humor. You will tell me where to find the treasure, and you will tell me now. Not gonna happen. And did you really just say, so we meet again? Hello? No! 
down here. Oh, hello, miss. Could you help me out, please? Sorry, no can do. But while you're down there, maybe you can clear something up for me. What? Something you said when we first met's been playing on my mind. Do I have a choice? Exactly. Exactly what? Choice. I don't follow. You see, I'm a determinist. Goes with this line of work. But what you said in London made me ask one of the big questions. Is there such a thing as free will? Because if there is, then I've made some pretty dodgy choices in my time. So help me out a bit here. So, do you have regrets? No, I don't think so. But I am a little worried. This whole free will thing has got me thinking. What do you enjoy in life, Shields? Well, uh, I like footy, a good scrap, and topiary. We have a choice. We always have a choice. Just like you've got a choice right now. Help us or not. I don't know. I'd like to. But the boss... My philosophy class seemed to be working. So, you're a determinist. Isn't that just an excuse to let Medovsky boss you around? At least I know who's controlling me actions. Do you? Of course. I do as I choose. So, you chose to leap off that cable car, did you? Yes, because you and Madovsky shot at me. You did choose to shoot at me, didn't you? Well, yes. But I didn't choose to shoot that geezer in the gallery. Face it, Shields. Determinism is just a way to hide from responsibility. Maybe you're right. So what? Can't you stop, Madovsky? As I said, it would be futile to try. His actions are predetermined, like mine. It's lovely chatting, but couldn't we discuss this somewhere more convivial? No way. The boss wants you dead. Why not choose what you want to do? Oh, I need to be sure. Is there nothing you can do to help us, Shears? It's more than my job's worth. So, you're a football fan, right? Gotta love the beautiful game. So, if determinism was valid, why would anyone play? What would be the point of it all? Hmm. Sometimes when we lose, that's just what I think. If what you create in Topiary is predetermined, what's the point? Topiary isn't about freedom of expression. It's haughty cultural valium. It makes the voices stop. You never intended to kill Henri? I just wanted to rough him up a little. But the gun went off and the rest is history. Free will didn't come into it. But you'd made a choice not to shoot him. The fact he died was an accident. Hmm. So you think I've got a chance of redemption? See? You didn't choose to kill Henri. He died regardless. Exactly. It was accidental homicide. If by redemption you mean a spell in jail with done off a good behavior, then yes. I think there is a chance for you. And you know what? No. Enlighten me. I'm getting too old for this crime, Lark. I think I'm having an epiphany. Of course, it might just be indigestion. <clears throat> no, it's definitely an epiphany. I think you're right. The only thing that has led me here is me and my actions. I'm going to talk to the boss. He's sure to listen to reason. Boss! Boss! What is it, you imbecile? How many times have I told you not to interrupt me when I'm about to kill somebody? Remember what we agreed. I am the big man who takes care of the big things. And I am the little man who takes care of the little things. 
<laughs> exactly. So, haven't you got a little thing you should be doing? Hmm. There is one little thing, now you mention it. Well, don't let me stop you. Get on with it, you big baboon. If you say so, boss. Oh. Oh, dear. There you go. Free will under orders. Now that is what I call a real paradox. Josh? You took your time back there. Yeah, but Oski and I had a lot to catch up on. And you and Shears seem to be getting on just fine. So, I figured you'd holler when you were done. Always nice to see old friends. Oh, thank God it's you two. You would not believe what just happened. Try us. Oh dear, the monks aren't gonna like that. We had a little philosophical disagreement on the way up. Nothing the little TLC won't fix. <coughs> yeah, they're, they're not really broken. More in uh, a transitional state. It's amazing what a lick of paint can do. What now, Georges? We find Langham, we stop his crazy plan, we rescue Eva, and you win a Pulitzer. <laughs> when you put it like that, Georges, sounds easy. So, how are we gonna catch Langham now? Well, we've got a pretty good idea where he's going. True, Mesopotamia, or Iraq as it is now. Not exactly a prime tourist spot. Need a lift? I don't think we'll catch Langham in a limo, but thanks. I'm not talking limo, mate. I'm talking Madovsky's full-on, fully fueled tax and ticket Learjet 60. You think you can get us to Iraq? Wouldn't be the first time, if you know what I mean. I've got the keys, the contacts, and a full drinks cabinet. How about it? It's the least I can do. The last thing I remembered was getting on board Madovsky's jet and accepting a cocktail from Shears. Hello? Anybody there? What happened to the light? Is that better? Whoa! Senor Marquez? Indeed. Hello, John. But you're dead. Does death worry you? You bet. I got a nasty feeling it's coming my way. You have no choice. You cannot allow Langham to destroy Jehovah. Lucifer and Jehovah must rule in harmony or chaos will prevail. Don't listen to him, George. He is here to lead you astray. He is a Gnostic, a heretic. Lucifer is the devil. He should be defeated. Jehovah must reign supreme. Whoa, hold your horses, Padre. I'm no big fan of the devil, but follow Jehovah and what do you get? Subservience, repression, mindless conformity. Not my cup of tea, pal. I'm more into sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Bacchus is the god for me. Ah, see what you get when you turn from Jehovah. A paint-spattered hedonist. Don't listen to either of them, George. A heretic and a lazy drunk. Hey, I'm not lazy. Nor I a heretic. I were best forger in the business. And I gladly died for my faith, as did thousands of my ancestors. Whoa, 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 fellas, fellas, please. My dream, my rules, okay? That seems to me that what you call greed, he call ambition. And your subservience is his order. In just about an hour's time, I'm going up against a guy who intends to destroy God. I need advice. Practical advice. Have a stiff drink and go down fighting. You're a dead man walking anyway. Nonsense. Put your faith in God and he will be your shield. 
Don't listen to them, George. They're both wrong. Maintain the harmony. Protect the balance. But how do I... You have the answer in your hands, George. In my hands? Uh, what do you mean? Josh? Josh, wake up. You were dreaming. What? What? Oh, what was all that about? You were dreaming. Something about sex and drugs from the sound of it. Ah, uh, yeah. Are we there yet? Well, that looks like the source of four rivers, so the Garden of Eden is right down there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I hope you've had a pleasant flight. The temperature in Eden is a pleasant 30 degrees centigrade. We shall be landing on a flat plain about two kilometers into the desert, which you will find is a pleasant stroll to your destination. Fasten your seatbelt and all that gubbins. Finally, may I take this opportunity of thanking you personally for choosing to fly air shares. We do hope you'll fly again with us soon. <laughs>